Welcome to another After Action Report for Trail Challenge. If you are part of Green Team or Red Team, I kindly request you to leave as this video is locked and that is your verbal warning to do so. If you are new to Trail Challenge, it is an ongoing event where teams try to take control of an entire map with the risk-like rules, but where the combat takes place on the actual maps by creations built by the teams. Each video will be mostly self-contained, however, it is recommended to go and watch the others. It is so unbelievably Jover. Last week, we finally got one more territory. We got the Ice Territory on High Seas. This week, we lost that territory. So we're now back to being on one territory, which means if we lose at any point now, we are just out of the game, permanently. Our team's gonna be done. Sadly, I wasn't here this week, um, but I did make the creation again. I'm pretty much the dedicated builder for the blue team now. If you want a summary of the actual happenings of the week, plus, what, plus some actual footage, because I wasn't there, I don't have any, um, I'm linking a video to Umbra's recap of that week. Uh, I just want to say though, if you are going to go there, his numberings of the weeks are one off of mine. I think they are one less. So I think this is 10 and his is nine for this week. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to talk about the creation. Pretty much it was just an upgraded two person submarine from last time. So if you watch that one, you should know how to use the this one except I actually updated the turret design so it can now actually rotate 360 degrees without jamming. The biggest change by far was removing the normal lasers and replacing them with lasers that didn't have auto aim. The reason why I did this is because it allowed me to get much more lasers for the same amount of power cores and because the idea was that we were going to be fighting in the ice tunnels, which make it impossible to dodge, and are at very close range, auto-aim shouldn't matter. The only thing that should have mattered was a raw DPS. Sadly, I forgot to say that in the training I gave to my friends who were actually there that time. This resulted in our loss. So, you know, I'm... I'm a little bit sad and disappointed, mostly myself for forgetting to tell them that. But that's just life. I'm going to be linking the creation um, in the description of this video. I call it the solar flare because, you know, large, inaccurate, spams laser stuff. Yeah, you know, pretty generic, all things considered. Yep, that's the end of this video. It's really short this week. Goodbye.